One in five people who have been prescribed opioids to manage pain from surgery find themselves struggling to stop taking the drugs long after their physical recovery. Opioid addiction has been called a crisis. There's now a shift away from painkillers. Marty Salt has mourned how doctors and patients are prepping for pain relief before, during, and after surgery. Total joint replacement, tummy tucks, lung surgery. Those are kind of at the top of my list of very painful procedures. But any surgery can be painful to recover from. Dr. Michelle Humidian is a pain management expert at Ohio State. She's leading an initiative to minimize opioids for pain relief. She says patients should start preparing before surgery by taking acetaminophen at home. We kind of load that up in the system um, in the day or so before surgery, and then that helps us uh, have to give less opiates for their pain control. During surgery, doctors use numbing medicine that blocks the pain transmission to the brain and spinal cord. Then, after surgery, patients can take over-the-counter acetaminophen or ibuprofen and use an anesthetic patch like lidocaine. Other types of interventions like heat, ice, elevation, those types of things, those can't be underestimated. Dr. Humidian says data shows non-opioid pain management results in less nausea and shorter hospital stays. Where we used to have patients that would require an overnight stay or two that are going home now after surgery. I'm Marty Salt reporting. And hospital data shows a 50% reduction in opioid pain medication use among patients. And that remains the same as they recover at home. The doctor says while painkillers have their role, it's important that they be used as a backup instead of a first-line treatment. Stay with us. We'll be right back.